So my name is Ramon Tejada. I am East Las Designer in Residence, and I am a graphic designer and educator who was born in the Dominican Republic. I was raised in New York City in Washington Heights, and I currently live in Providence, Rhode Island, where I teach at RISD and where I have a very small little design practice, El Estudio de Ramon, but I usually use EDR, and I like to work in collaboration and a practice that I consider to be expanding responsibly the idea of what graphic design and what design is past its sort of Eurocentric norm. And then one day I got this email from Isla and we had a really good conversation thinking about, you know, there's these shows and we would love to engage with you and design these beautiful printed matter pieces for the shows that I consider like gallery guides. So it was a really great way of engaging in a conversation with the curators and the staff here and thinking about the archives and thinking about sort of the mission of looking at all of this incredible work from Latin America and artists that sort of at times has sort of been relegated to the margin. The residency is not just like, oh, I get to design things, but actually to me it's exciting to be able to pull a box up and start to be like, I found this and what is this? I've never seen this in any graphic design book. And then I'm looking at these pieces, which start to look to me probably from the 40s, poemas, Jose Miguel Ferrer, right? This is interesting. This is from Venezuela, 1956. January 1956 from Caracas, Venezuela. Venezuelan graphic designer. So that's exciting. I'm thinking about, oh, I need to look at gra Venezuelan graphic designers, right? Thinking about how large Latin America is. And then, you know, you keep, you know, like, you're looking at all kinds, Carmen Herrera, right? Carmela Gross, uh, Victor Grupo. And then, you know, like, oh, Leah Lublin, right? Who's in one of the Isla shows in the current show, right? I'm thinking about, like, you know, like, there's possibilities here that I don't even know, right? And I'm, like, looking at this catalog. Obviously, Leah Lublin has somebody who has a catalog like this has, must have a, an, an incredible body of work and sort of engaging with this and look at all this beautiful typography, retrospective. So it's sort of exciting and the possibilities of like going through them and discovering sort of new information, new knowledge, new artists, new thinkers. I had never seen this piece of work by Annabella Geiger. I actually didn't know who Annabella Geiger was, but I was just really blown away by, you know, understanding that this was not a, its original form in this frame. I, nodded to it in the catalog for the show. It's the same typeface that is the title for it. Also the color of the typography isn't the color of that bag. And I was really inspired by this piece of work. These artists, these women who are making incredible work in Latin America at a time again of sort of a lot of political unrest and um, in cultures that were very oppressive for them. Graphic design with a capital G and a D is like a really young field. And Latin America has a very, very long history of sort of printed matter, lithography, silk screening, what is usually referred to as artes graficas or graphic arts, which a version of graphic design falls into. And I think a lot of what is, exists here that I would catalog as what we consider graphic design falls in that artes graficas, a lot of artists who are working with printed matter as a way to disseminate information, to disseminate invitations to come to spaces, to have conversations about critical political issues that communities needed, right? Or to develop communities, which I think is one of the most amazing things that I'm sort of getting out of doing research of being here. It's like the amount of community building that these artists did with their work, whether it was a flyer, a postcard, or whether they were actually making really challenging sort of sculpture or video or architecture. The digging through the archives, I got into this box of the Gallery Caic, which is from Buenos Aires, Argentina, C-A-Y-C. And I was really obsessed with their letterhead, which I really kind of love. And this paper is really fabulous. I don't know where this paper came from, but I'm just this choices of cutting the edges, sort of this allusion to a box, a space, and then this sort of very modernist take on Helvetica. But then I've been obsessed with looking at these lists of artists. These are people that I don't know. I, most of these artists, I've never seen their work. Um, so I was really excited to look at that. I'm just scanning these things, right? Like, and I'm just sort of using it as sort of a board to organize the things that I'm really looking at to develop this op-ed for the Isla blog. 
around sort of like typography and graphic design in Latin America. So it's not just like going through boxes. It's like literally trying to organize your ideas for the, the, the research or the design that, you know, I'm working on or that we're working on together. I should say we, because we're always working together in collaboration here. So that's pretty good. So I think it's not just like this one way street of like me designing things or that relationship of like, you're the designer. Can you make this thing look good? It's actually this incredible conversation amongst a group of people um, and the space actually too, I think. And thinking about how I contribute to that rather than like everybody's just feeding me a bunch of stuff and I just sit on my computer and make it look quote unquote good, whatever that means. It's a very like awesome version of the relationship of like designers to curators to archivists to artists to keep going.